Hey everybody, Jimmy is Promo here and welcome to another awesome video. And today I will be talking about the Samsung DeX Station. So this little thing right in front of me is the Samsung DeX and this will be able to turn your Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus essentially into a Chromebook. So let's look a little bit closer at what this thing has. So right here is the USB Type-C prong. So you'll be able to just lay your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus on top of here. And not only will it charge your Galaxy S8, but it'll also be able to display everything onto the screen, but in the form of pretty much a Chrome book. So I'll be able to close this down a little bit. Let's look in the back and right over here, you have two different USB ports. So what I use mine for will be a keyboard as well as a mouse. This right here is for your ethernet. So if you like to put a little bit of internet into your device, this is where you'll be able to plug that in. Here Here's your HDMI that can turn any monitor or TV into a computer monitor. And then this is the power source. You just plug this in and it'll be able to charge your device and power this whole rig as well. And then on the back of this rig, you actually will have some operating fans. They'll be able to keep everything cool, the device itself, as well as your Galaxy S8. So getting everything plugged in was easy. Now the last step you got to do is put your Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus on the Samsung DeX and plug it in. The first time that you do this, it'll actually give you two different options on your screen if you'd like to run Samsung DeX or if you'd like it to run screen mirroring. So this is what the desktop looks like on the Samsung Galaxy DeX. So right over here, this is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And then on the screen is actually everything coming from this device. So the great thing about it is that you have a normal wallpaper in the background, which actually this right here, you can also change just by hitting your right click of the mouse. And then you can go into gallery or any of these other images. So the great thing about it is that it operates just like a normal computer. On the very left hand side, these are your different shortcuts for the different applications you have on your phone. On the very bottom left hand side, this is your application tray. So let's first go up into this little shortcut of Facebook. So if you click on it one time, it will not open. This is where you click on it twice. If you go into your applications down here, you just basically click on one of these just one time and it opens up your application. So let's say that we wanted to maybe get rid of one of these shortcuts. So I'm gonna right click on the mouse. This is where you have the remove shortcut. You can add to secure folder or you can disable the application. I'm actually gonna go in here and just remove the shortcut just to kind of show exactly everything you guys are able to do. And then this little settings icon, I'm gonna move it up in its place. So you are able to fully customize what your, your desktop looks like. On the very bottom left hand side, this is where all the applications are. And let's say I wanted to bring back out my Facebook. I just press and hold and just drag it right on out of those applications. And boom, there we go. Facebook is now back on the desktop as a shortcut. Let's go back over into all these applications. These ones over here are all the applications that are on the device. So anything that you have downloaded will show up, but I will not guarantee every single thing will work with the Samsung DeX. So as example, the Super Mario Run game here, or the Run Mario Run game, uh, this one is not able to really be played. I gotta play a little bit more to see if there's a way to do it, um, but with the normal clicker or the mouse or anything, it just doesn't really quite work because you have to be tapping the screen. Now up here, let's say if I go to the very top of this list here, this is where you also have this option here for apps for DeX. So these things are customly made for the Samsung DeX. You have the full operating Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, which is huge. So now you need not only be able to edit a document, but you'd also be able to create one from fresh. So if somebody was to email you inside of your email right over here, a brand new PowerPoint that you're supposed to use today, um, but a change has came up and they sent you a image, you'd be able to actually open up that PowerPoint and be able to make all the edits that is needed. So this is a powerful device. Let's go back over here and you have the option uh, down over here for your recent app. So these right here will be the recents, which these are the ones I have opened. If I click anywhere outside of the applications, it'll get rid of them. I'd also have the opportunity to also close all. And then this is your home button. So let's say that we go over into maybe the YouTube application. And if I was to click on this home button, it takes me right on out. On the right hand side over here, you'd be able to collapse all of these different options, as well as you'd be able to expand it back. This right here is just letting me know about the weather. This is the icon for USB because I am plugged in via USB. And then here is, you know, the alarm. I've got my settings for Bluetooth 
how's my setting or my signal going and as well as my battery if i click on the up arrow this is all of your all of your different settings for your device so if if i was to click on flashlight you can see over on the very bottom right hand side that the flashlight has turned on on the phone now if i was to press and hold on let's say this bluetooth it does exactly the same thing that your cell phone does it gets you into the settings for Bluetooth, which usually what I do here is I will connect my phone to two different Bluetooth speakers. So then this way I'd be able to have a full awesome experience. If I was to, let's say, go into music or go into YouTube, um, the audio automatically comes out of the phone on the right hand side that I have over here. So if you want it to be a better sound, make sure you Bluetooth a speaker to it first. So down here on the bottom right hand side, you have an option for virtual keyboard. So if I was to start typing and pressing because I have a mouse, but I don't have a physical keyboard in front of me. This is how you'd be able to do all of your different typing. And then over here you have the volume of your device and you also have a screenshot. So it's really fun to actually have multiple windows opened up, take a screenshot and send it to your friend. They're gonna say, what? So let me show you guys what it looks like when you have multiple screens that is opened. So let's go on down over into YouTube and we'll place that on the right hand side. And then over here, let's go over into Chrome. So let's say that I am working on something over here on the left hand side, but I'd also be able to watch a YouTube video at the exact same time. So over here inside of this window, I'd be able to make this thing a large scale, the full screen of the TV or your little computer monitor that you guys are using. Also, when you go on the very bottom of a screen, you'd be able to make it larger or smaller, just like any other desktop or laptop computer. So the Samsung DeX picks up on the advanced features that my mechanical keyboard has. So it also illuminates and powers everything that I have for the lighting that is on the mechanical keyboard. The fun thing about it too is that some of the short keys is also available as well. So if I do function F2, it brings up the search on the very top left hand side as you guys can see and maybe let's check out what it happens if i was to click on the function and then music so this will pop up the music player that is on the samsung galaxy device along with the function volume down it'd be able to turn down the volume of the phone as well as turning up the volume as well and you have the option to click on the video itself just like you do on any other computer click on the top right hand side and you'd be able to choose which quality you would like it to play in so i'll just put this thing over at 1080p and if you wanted to you can make this a large screen as well now the last thing that i wanted to show you guys is heading over into the settings of this device. So up here you have the shortcut for settings. So I'm going to double press on that and you have all the different settings for your cell phone right over here. Now you also have the option for Samsung DeX. Inside of here, this is where you'd be able to change your screen timeout for 10, 20, 30, or 60 minutes. The next option is the wallpapers for Samsung DeX, which I showed you guys just a little bit earlier on. Here is the pointer speed. So this is where you can make all your different adjustments for the pointer speed, as well as uh, what is your little options for virtual keyboard? You know, which one would you like to use? This one is the general management for your language and input, the date and time and everything else with your Samsung DeX. And then this is the option to show your virtual keyboard. So let's say that we close on out of here. With virtual keyboard option turned on, you'd be able to go down to the very bottom right hand side, click on that search option. And inside of search, this is where your virtual keyboard will pop up that you can search for pretty much any application you want to. So let's say that I want to type in C-H-R-O-M-E, and this is where it'll show you your Chrome application, as well as if you had anything in, in the gallery, uh, it can also search on your calendar as well. So this was a little bit of the introduction for the Samsung DeX. I'll definitely have more videos coming on a little bit later on that'll be a little bit more advanced and show you guys exactly everything you'd be able to do with the Samsung DeX. If this is something you guys are interested in, I'll also have the link posted below the video showing where you guys would be able to get this thing on Amazon. Hey, if you guys like this video, then you guys might like everything on my channel. Make sure you click on that subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side. If you guys want to see exclusive content that is not on YouTube or my Instagram or Twitter, just click on that Patreon page on the very bottom right hand side and make sure you guys give me a little bit of support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, click that playlist on the very top right hand side.